Today we're going to be uh, scraping out our heifer lots and uh, rebedding them. This is uh, something we usually like to do about once a week. So Dad and I went ahead and ran out our small barnyard out to the pasture. Uh, these are calves and heifers about 9 to 15 months that are in uh, preparation for breeding and still in their uh, growing phase some. And then uh, I'm standing in the big heifer lot where we have our breeding age heifers and uh, they're out there on their lot right now. Uh, these heifers are about 15 to 24 months and uh, bred. Many of them are pregnant, um, preparing to have their first calf. So uh, let's get to work. This is typically a job that we like to use our tire scraper for. We like to clean out our heifer pens uh, after there's a little bit of rain because the moisture on the manure lets it uh, spread a little easier as we're pushing it out. But uh, it's so dry, I'm just going to have to settle for the uh, manure bucket. It's going to slow me down a little bit. It might be a little bumpy, but we'll give it a go.
got the barn yards all scraped out. Uh, I just went ahead and hooked up the tire scraper now. We're just gonna clean up the edges a little bit and make it look nice. thing left to do is we're gonna go throw the pallet forks on the skid loader and uh, take some round bales of straw unwrap those and bed the pins up well normally we uh, like to bed our heifer sheds with round bales but I ran into a little bit of a problem is that um, our chemical inventory and our chopper and dump wagon are cutting us off from the last of our uh, round bales so um, dad and I are gonna head up to uh, our neighboring farm and grab some square bales and put it in the dump truck. We made it back from our uh, rented farm with a bales. There's a stack of them outside here. And uh, now we're ready to go ahead and uh, get to bedding everything up finally. Here's how the job turned out on the big heifer lot. 
Um, heifers will take care of spreading the rest of the straw out, but we got it pretty well. Last thing to do is my best part of the job. Turn the heifers back in. Um, I'm outside of the, on the front side of the farm right now, uh, caught dad, uh, he's off planting some sweet corn right here. We usually set aside about a five acre or so uh, piece and uh, we've really built up the sweet corn sales over the years. When I was a kid, my sister, cousins and I uh, spent our summer days selling sweet corn at the end of our farm lane and uh, it really took off. Now my sister Jill uh, manages most of the operations. She's uh, out of town this week, so dad's planning. And uh, you can see, starting all the way over here, we're now planting our uh, fifth patch, and there's room for probably about a sixth. And that way we get the patches staggered, keeps us open uh, for a good amount of time. Hoping to have the uh, first patch ready, uh, probably about the third week of July. So you'll wanna stay tuned for that. Looks like both groups are getting uh, reacquainted with their new spaces again. So that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you again.